Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. We celebrate God for what he had done in the life of Elijah. We get inspired by what we see God at work in the life of Elijah. We get excited, all full of joy, knowing that God answers prayer because he answered Elijah. God brings fire down because we see it in the life of Elijah. Elijah, one man defeated all the prophets of Baal and Asherah. As men went back to their homes, he got a message, and this is a serious message. At the hearing of this word, the man who just now got victory, the man who just now was celebrated, began to shiver from inside out. Jezebel had vowed, I am coming for you. The Bible said the people that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. I am praying that God may raise again the Elijahs of our generation. Amen. Holiness attracts more trouble than sin does. Father, we pray, bless us. Bless our gathering and bless your word. Lead us in understanding, oh God. Use me as a simple vehicle. Lord, change and transform us. Heal the body. Bless us all together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Glory to Jesus. Please have a seat. God bless you. Well, this evening I want to share with you a teaching from the Lord. I share with you this teaching, building you before we begin to pray for one another. And if you can write, please write it down. If you have ears to hear, please hearken to what the Lord is saying to the church today. I have titled the presentation of the word this evening, Elijah's Tears. The title of my message is Elijah's Tears. And the subtitle of my presentation of the word is the danger of the gospel. The danger of the gospel. Now this exercise is to encourage you to remain strong despite the many eventualities ahead of you as a child of God, as a believer, and more also as a minister of the gospel. This is to also inform you of the tactics of the enemy against the church of our Lord Jesus Christ while on earth. I speak with an apostolic anointing upon me and I pray that this word may echo to the far places of this globe, that the body of Christ may arise in strength and be all that God called us to be. Now I want you to read with me from the first book of Kings, chapter 19, verse 9 to 10. At the count of three, join me as we read one, two, and three. And there you went. Elijah the Tishbite is known as one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. He was distinguished by the anointing that he carried. He was not a man of many words. He believed God for the demonstration of his power. He was unique. 
He stood against the forces of hell. The powers of witchcraft in his time that brought confusion. That covered the entire land of Israel. Elijah the Tishbite was a man of his own rank. We all know how he defeated the prophet of Baal and Asherah. Boldly in the Mount Carmel, he challenged them to call on the God. And he said, the God will answer by fire, may be God. It is clear that no one can go to that extent unless he knows his God. The Bible said the people that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. I am praying that God may raise again the Elijahs of our generation. Amen. Men and women who will move differently. They will speak differently. The approach will be different. I receive. Elijah the Tishbite on Mount Carmel in the presence of the millions of the Jews who came to witness the outcome of the challenge called on his God. And the God who made your ears can hear. Amen. The one who said, call on me and I will answer you. Is God enough to answer you? I will save it. So he said, oh God, let it be known today that you are God in heaven and that I am your servant on earth. The scripture reports that fire came down and consumed the sacrifice, consumed the stone, consumed the altar. The power of God was so great that every man who saw it went on their knees and they said, the Lord is God. Amen. The Lord is God. Family, may I announce to you that the time has come where the glory of God descending on you will be so evident, so strong, I so palpable that. that all those who look at you will go on their knees and say, the Lord is God. Amen. The Lord is God. I receive. So it is said, with boldness and authority, he commanded that all the prophets of Baal, the workers of confusion, a collite of stagnation, be seized and slaughtered. You shall not permit a witch to leave. Amen. I decree and I declare. Yes. Back to sender. In Jesus' the name. The arrow shot at you is going back to In death. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. Mm. They will fall in the pit that dig for you. Amen. Jesus. God walked with Elijah. Mm in an uncommon way. We have seen men of God before. But this one is different. Mm -hmm. Elijah was different. We have seen singers before. We have seen praise and worshipers before. We have seen intercessors before. We have seen businessmen, businesswomen before. We have seen prophets before. But this one is different. Oh, you will not be like them. I will say. It shall be evident that you carry something that is greater. It shall be evident that what you carry is greater. I will say. Please have a seat if you have one. God bless you. The word says that from that day on, confusion stopped in Israel. After finished today, there will be no more confusion left in your mind. I no more confusion it. in your life. I in the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. The heart of men that were stolen went back to God. Israel was finally at peace. Please have a seat. God operated through Elijah. He had just made himself available to be a vehicle of God. 
Is there anybody under the sound of my voice who want to be a vehicle of God for the anointing of the last hour? Glory. People applauded Elijah. We applaud Elijah. The victory was so great that we see in hymns with the victory of Elijah. We celebrate God for what he had done in the life of Elijah. We get inspired by what we see God at work in the life of Elijah. We get excited, all full of joy, knowing that God answers prayer because he answered Elijah. God brings fire down because we see it in the life of Elijah. We have seen what God can do with a man. Yes. And I believe that uh, many a times our celebration stops there. The Bible says after that great victory, Elijah, one man defeated all the prophets of Baal and Asherah. As men went back to their homes, he got a message. And this is a serious message. The message don't come from Baal. This message don't come from Asherah. He got a message, and this message came from the very top of the land, the queen mother, Jezebel, the wife of the king Ahab. And Jezebel sent a message to Elijah, saying, may the Lord do to me and more also, if tomorrow, by this time, I do not turn your life like one of those. Elijah was a great man celebrated because of his victory. But as soon as he got the word of Jezebel that made the gods do it to me and more so, if tomorrow by this time I do not make your life just like the lives of those, meaning the prophet of Baal and Shira, that you have destroyed. At the hearing of this word, the man who just now got victory, the man who just now was celebrated, began to shiver from inside out. You see, if you are threatened from outside, inside you can keep your calmness. But if your fears come from inside, your outside cannot be cool. You'll be shivering uncontrollably even when you try to contain yourself. This word began to hit him inside. Jezebel had vowed, I am coming for you. Have you ever been in the place of victory today and tomorrow you feel so low as if the devil is coming after you with a revenge? Have you ever been in a place where after a good moment of prayer, a good moment of worship, locked in the presence of God, you and God and angels, as soon as you finish and you go home, you face the worst devil ever. Have you ever been in a time where church was good on the weekend? On Sunday, it was so good that uh, you were sweating, not because it was hot. No, because you were jumping in the presence of God. You could not contain yourself. You wanted God now. You jumped till you sweat. And on Monday, the enemy is waiting for you in that office. All upset saying, come here. Come here. And you begin to ask yourself, Lord, did I provoke this? All hell is breaking loose. Family, this was the story of Elijah. When we celebrate what God had done and stopped, he continued. And in the process of his walk from Camel, he got a message, a threat. Jezebel. And now you may like it or not, every one of us have his Jezebel. Uh, you may not have an outside Jezebel with a form and shape, but you have the voice. The voice that threatens you from inside. 
The voice that tells you it will not last. The voice that causes you, though you may be in the place of blessing, but not enjoy your blessing. In fact, that voice is able to take away your blessing right under your nose. You are amidst your blessing, but you cannot enjoy it. Your blessing now is causing you more pain because the more you have, the more you have fear to lose. You are insecure. You can't sleep unless you take pills. The voice, the voice that challenges you inside. At the hearing of this, Elijah knew that nobody will stand for me and he began to run for his dear life. He got in a place of depression. He was so depressed that death seemed to be a better option than life. Have you ever been in the place where you are contemplating your exit? He ran. It is funny that he had just stood in front of a, a huge crowd. And after that, men had applauded him. But after the voice, he was alone. And if you ask any man of God, if you ask any woman of God, they will tell you they know how it feels to be alone. And I believe one of the greatest tragedies of life is to be lonely in the crowd. You may still have people around you singing and shouting and making noise, but you feel alone. You feel that your life is just you. Nobody's understanding what you're going through. Nobody can read through you. Nobody can see your cold tears. Nobody! Jesus. He was alone. He remained alone. And he ran. The Bible says he found a terrible tree and he lay down there. He said to God, kill me. It's called spiritual holy suicide. Kill me. He was ready to give up. Under the sound of my voice, there may be somebody right now. You are in that place where you have tried it all. You are so disappointed. You do not know where to run anymore. Now you are contemplating your way out. You say, Lord, I can't do anymore. I am quitting now. Kill me, oh God. But hear me, child of God is not true with you yet. Amen. Jehovah is not true with you Amen. yet. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. He has a plan for your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hear me, it's not over until he says so. Amen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. Mm. Mm. Weeping may last for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. May I prophesy joy coming your way. I May I prophesy joy coming your way. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. I receive. May the joy of the Lord lift you up again. In the name of May Jesus. May the joy of the Lord cover you. In Jesus' name. May the joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Please have a seat if you can find one. He remained alone. No friend, no colleague, no comrade, no spouse, no child, no parent. All alone. Jezebel mm. did not come herself. Jezebel just sent a voice. What do you do when you feel like your back is against the wall? What do you do when it seems like everything is falling apart right in front of your eyes and you have nothing to do about it? He lay down and said to the Lord, kill me. And I'm sure to facilitate that, he slept never to wake up. But the Bible says, God is a merciful God. Thank you, Lord. Hear me. There are people here, you could have died long time ago. Mm. If you are still here today, 
It's because of his grace and his mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And hear me, this God who brought you this far, mm. he will not leave you. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. He kept you. Mm. He sustained you. Mm. He fought the devil for you. Yes. He will not leave you now. Thank you, Jesus. Who am I talking to? I receive it. He will not leave you now. Amen. He won't. Have a seat if you can find one. The mm. Bible says, wow, in his lowest, God still came down for him. You see, we oftentimes think that God comes because we pray a lot. And we think that uh, it is literally an exchange that we do with God. And you come and beat your chest and say, Lord, remember, I've been so good. I paid my tax. I gave my offering. I did not drink. I did not smoke. I came home at 6 p.m. and I went to bed at 8 p.m. And we think that that moves God. Well, God, I appreciate everything you do in his name. But you got to understand that even in your lowest, mm. he's still your God. Hallelujah. When everybody has thrown you away, when no one finds value in you anymore, oh God. when they have already concluded that uh, there is nothing left in you anymore, he is there to catch you. Thank you, oh, Jesus. Oh, I decree and I declare a comeback, a comeback, a prophetic I comeback. I receive it. Out of your setback, there is a comeback. I receive Out of it. your setback, there is a comeback. I receive it. He was in his lowest. He lay down asking God, kill me. If they had to call Israel to witness what was just happening, they would be shocked that the man who was able to call fire from heaven and fire came down, he was laying down in his lowest. Hear me, pray for your pastor. Learn to pray for those who labor for you. Pray that when the enemy will come against them, they may be found strong. In the name of Jesus. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. Even great prophets cry. That's right. Even men of fire cry. That's right. Even men of great victories cry. Jesus. It's only cry. Mm. He dared to serve God. He dared to be a vehicle through which the power of God will come and restore the worship of God in Israel. Because he had endeavored to be an instrument of God, all hell had broken loose. The head of the land launched a vicious attack on him. But the enemy did not know that Elijah had a God. Mm. Amen. It shall be known Amen. that your God is the only true God. Hallelujah. It shall be known that beside him there is no other God. Mm. It shall be known that he sits upon the throne with all power in his hand. Amen. It shall be known that is the first and the last, yes. the beginning and the end, yes. Alpha and Omega. Oh God. It shall be known that his name is Elohim. Yes, Lord. El Elion. Oh God. Adonai. Do it. Oh El Shaddai. Thank you, Jesus. El Roy. Hallelujah. El Olaf. Oh God. It shall be known mm. that he is Jehovah Ra. Hear me. Even if man will leave you, he say, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Amen. I shall be with you every day till the end of time. I will save it. He sent me to tell you, he has your back. Thank you, Jesus. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.